Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Our today's topic is cloud computing. Syllabus reference for AS and A level 9618. Underst uh, show understanding of cloud computing, including use of public and private clouds and benefits and drawbacks of cloud computing. So let's start our session. So first of all, what is cloud computing? What do you think uh, cloud computing is? Some computers kept on clouds, maybe, right? Cloud computing, maybe some computers, they are kept on clouds. <laughs> but no, it's not that, right? Basically, cloud computing is very, very simple. It is online storage of data. Right. It refers to the provision of computing services via Internet. You click pictures on your uh, mobile devices, right? And uh, if you have signed in using your uh, uh, Google account or, you know, if you are using an Apple phone, so uh, if you have uh, your uh, iCloud ID and if you've logged in, so your photos, they are automatically saved on cloud, right? If your sync is on. So that is an example of cloud computing where your all the applications, or oh, sorry, all the uh, pictures, they are getting saved automatically, whatever you are clicking. So one place of storage is your mobile device, uh, you know, uh, your, your memory on your mobile device. Second place is cloud storage where photos are automatically getting synced. And later on, if you change your mobile device, then after logging in, to your account, whether it's for Apple or whether it's for Android, as and when you log in, all those photos are there in that cloud storage. So, yeah. So, what is cloud computing? It refers to provision of computing services via internet. In simpler words, it is online storage of data. And you can also say data is stored on one or more than one servers, allowing clients to access data. Very, very important. It allows clients to access data anywhere, anytime from anywhere in the world, right? Physical environment is owned and managed by hosting company. So there is someone, some company which is managing all that, all these cloud services. Cloud means remote uh, storage where your data is actually getting stored. So there are some remote servers where your data is getting stored and that environment physical environment is owned and managed by some hosting company okay so if you get a question about describe cloud uh, cloud computing so you can write all these points right what are benefits of cloud storage files stored on the cloud can be accessed at any time from any device and anywhere in the world provided internet access is available Without internet, you cannot access it. No need for a client to carry an external storage device with them. They just log in. They have an internet connection. They log in to their account and they, yeah, they have their data. Provides the user with remote backup of data. As I said, your photos are permanently stay, uh, stored over there. Recovery of data is possible. In case your device is crashed, you still have all your data stored on the cloud. Offers all, almost unlimited storage capacity, almost, right? Because as your uh, requirement grows, you will have to maybe pay. Technical knowledge is not required. So anyone in the world, they can just have access to the cloud storage. Flexibility can easily increase capacity. Mostly cloud storage has inbuilt backup ability and data can be shared easily. Right. So these are benefits. Now, let's have a look at drawbacks of cloud storage. Internet access always required. If you do not have internet access, you cannot have access to your data. In case of a slow or unstable internet connection, customers might face 
you know, problems accessing their data. Cost can be high if large storage capacity is required. So as I said, you might have to pay as your requirement for storage grows. So monthly or yearly or quarterly, you'll have to pay. In case of a failure of the cloud storage hosting company, a risk of loss of all backup data. Bandwidth issues, depending upon your network connection, you can access your data according to that. Poor data privacy, as the cloud service providers has complete access to all of your data stored on the cloud. There might be compatibility issues, right? So if your device is not compatible, you may not be able to access your cloud storage. So these are drawbacks of cloud computing. Now let's have a look at types of cloud computing. So there are two types mentioned in your syllabus, public and private. So we'll have a look at both of these. So let's start with public cloud. Public cloud is basically owned by a cloud service provider. And the customer and the cloud service provider are different companies. So one company is providing the service and someone else is using that service. So for example, Google Drive, it is there and we are using it. So it is a public cloud. Everybody can use. It is owned by Google. However, anyone, anyone in the world, they can use this to, uh, online storage, right? Grants access to multiple parties, accessible, via a browser, you don't have to install any software. You just open that website on the browser and you can have it, right? So these are points related to public cloud. Now, what are the uses of public cloud? So you can use it to host web and mobile applications. Uh, it enables users to access and use software applications over the internet without you know, any need of local installation. You don't need to install any software on your system, you can just access them via web browsers. Big data and, and analytics offer the computing power and storage capacity required for processing and analyzing large volumes of data. Development and testing environments, it provides an on-demand resources for developers to build, test, and deploy applications without having a dedicated infrastructure. Content delivery and media streaming offers infrastructure and bandwidth for content delivery. CDNs and media streaming services to efficiently distribute content. Collaboration and communication enables teams to collaborate, share files, and communicate, right? We all use uh, uh, Google Sheets, Google Docs. Uh, during the uh, COVID time on, uh, and on online studies, uh, students, they used to submit their work, right? Teachers, they used to share their assignments. So yeah, it helps in collaboration and communication. Next comes private cloud. Now, what is private cloud? Very important. Private cloud is owned by and only accessed by an organization and is not shared with other companies. So same company has a storage capacity. They have their servers placed where data is getting stored and that company can only have an access to it. The people they are, who are working over there, they can have access, but no outside person or on outside organization or company can have access to that uh, uh, cloud service. So owned by and only accessed by an organization, only one organization's data storage. Customers and cloud storage providers are integrated and operate as a single entity. So whosoever is using that is part of that organization and not from the outside. Storage provided by a dedicated environment behind a company firewall. So this is for us companies, all the security is provided using companies firewall. The private cloud can either be created and maintained by an organization itself, or it can outsource, they can outsource these tasks to a third party. So they can create them on their own, or they can give this task to a third party, but access can only be done by uh, uh, people who are directly connected with that organization and no one from outside world can have access to that cloud storage. Now, what is the use of uh, private clouds? Private clouds, highly regulated industries where uh, like uh, like finance, healthcare, and government, 
often required strict data security and compliance measures. So private clouds, they provide the necessary control and security. So these uh, industries, they can use cloud, private clouds. Uh, well suited to host mission critical applications. This includes applications related to core business operations, customer management and financial transactions. So private clouds can be used in mission critical applications. Data warehousing and analytics. analytics. So organizations uh, that deal with sensitive and confidential data, they can also have private clouds. Research and development, commonly used in research and development environment, where sensitive data, intellectual property, or proprietary algorithms are involved, their cloud, uh, private clouds can be used. Virtual desktop infrastructure, uh, so private clouds can also be used to host virtual desktop environments, allowing users to access their desktops and applications remotely. Right. So these are some application areas or uses of private clouds. Now let's have a look at past paper questions. So first question is, uh, uh, SATE accesses both software and data using cloud computing. Give two benefits of storing data using cloud computing. So you have to write two benefits of cloud computing. We have read multiple, I have written multiple uh, uh, benefits up here. So you can write any two from here, right? So. I have written uh, can be accessed from anywhere using internet connection, can easily increase capacity. Mostly cloud storage has inbuilt backup ability and data can be shared easily. So two marker, any two points you write and you'll get full marks. Two drawbacks of using cloud computing. So here also there are multiple. I have written up there. I have uh, written all the those here. It is of two marks. You write any two, you get marks. So internet access is always required. Number one, in case of slow or unstable internet connection, customers might, might face problems. Cost can be high if large storage capacity is required. In case of failure of cloud storage hosting company, risk of loss of all backup data, poor data privacy, and there might be compatibility issues. So any two you can write, you'll get lots. Then we have a company uses cloud computing, define cloud computing. So. Cloud computing is a provision of computing services via internet. In simpler words, it is online storage of data. It is just of one mark. You write uh, one mark, uh, you write your one point and you get your marks. All right. Then state what is meant by public and private cloud. So you have to write uh, meaning of public cloud and private cloud. So public cloud owned by cloud service provider, the customer and cloud so storage providers are different companies and grants access to multiple parties here, but private cloud owned by and only accessed by an organization and is not stored, uh, shared with other companies, customer and cloud storage provider are integrated and operate as single entity, right? Then give two reasons and one draw drawback of cloud computing. Uh, sorry, give two benefits and one drawback of. So two benefits you can write, we have just discussed up there and one drawback is cost can be higher so so cost can be high if large storage capacity is required and benefits we have just covered up there files stored on the cloud can be accessed at any time from any repair no need for client to carry an external storage device with them so these are benefits and this is drawback. Three marker question, you get marks if you write two benefits and one drawback. Then there is one more question. To, the diagram shows hardware and software used to retrieve files stored on the cloud. So there is a laptop, there is a firewall, there is something A written here, there is internet service provider and there is X. So they have created a cloud here and there is some something written as B. So you have to identify what is A, what is X, and what is B here. So the device, na uh, the name of device A that allows the laptop to connect to the internet. So we connect to the internet using routers. So you write router here. A type of cloud here, it is written X because uh, it is not of in the same company. Someone Someone's laptop is getting connected. So you can write it is a public cloud. So what is B here? B can be any application which is available on, uh, you know, they have written an example of an application. B is an application. 
uh, that can run on the cloud. So you write any application, maybe you write about online photos, you write about, you know, online uh, documentation so, uh, uh, services, you write about databases, email, so anything you can write and you'll get three marks if you write these three answers, right? So that's all for today. We have covered all about cloud computing including public and private clouds, benefits and drawbacks of cloud computing. So that's all for today. Thank you.